Well, Capitol Hill and the FDA have their collective eye on a report by the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Yeah, kudos to the uh, Milwaukee Journal Sentinel on this one. It involves an investigation into the chairman of a panel looking into the safety of bisphenol A. That's a chemical found in hard, clear plastic. JS on air now. We are joined by Meg Kissinger. She wrote that report. Meg, so why the investigation into this particular chairman? Um, well, there, concern, there is a concern that... Um, there was a donation, a $5 million donation, given to the University of Michigan's Risk Science Center, and that's um, directed by a man by the name of Martin Filbert. And, and Dr. Filbert also serves on this FDA panel ruling on the safety of bisphenol A. So the question arises, what influence, if any, did this $5 million donation have on his ruling on the um, chemical? The donation was given by a man named, by the name of Charles Gelman, and Charles Gelman is a well-known um, activist against government regulation who has strong feelings that bisphenol A is perfectly safe. So there's concern that there would be deference or special consideration given to him. Um, so. Well, and we probably should point out that uh, the FDA wouldn't even know about this donation were it not for your article in Sunday's paper. So, so where does it go from here? I mean, if, if, this, if, if they decide that bisphenol A is safe, um, it, it's going to look really bad, will it not? I, I think so. That's, that's been the consensus from uh, lawmakers, congressmen who are calling for an investigation of this donation. They're calling for uh, Dr. Filbert to either step down, return the $5 million, um, and, and uh, they're joined in that opinion by environmental groups and people who feel that there needs to be a thick firewall between business interests and, and government. And how long is this investigation going to take before people really get an answer on, on whether or not anything's been influenced? Well, that's a good question. Uh, unknown, but certainly people are, are we're keeping the spotlight shined on it. So um, we're expecting, you know, answers sooner rather than later. And the um, committee that Dr. Filbert chairs is poised to be releasing its review by the end of the month. And so time is really of the essence. They're going to release this report. It's really not going to mean anything right now, given that it's under the cloud of suspicion. So they'd be well served to clear this matter up sooner than later. Indeed. That's Meg Kissinger with the Journal Sentinel. And you can read more about this topic at jsonline.com. And we have a link on our website, todaystmj4.com.